Hello and welcome to this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV, The Realm Reborn for the PlayStation 3. Joining us as always is our level 40 Dragoon, Chrono Ocelot. And today what we're going to be getting into is, uh, you can see Alberg in the background. Uh, what we're going to be doing is doing our level 40 Dragoon, I guess, um, class quest mission, which will give us a new ability. So with that being said, let's go and have a chat to you. See what Alberg has to say. So, Spine Shattered Dive is what we'll be learning to do. Delivers a jumping attack with a potency of 170. Also stuns the target for 2 seconds. Nice. And it's an instant cast. Alright. Send us on next trial. You grow strong. You grow ever stronger. And I speak of more than just the flesh. I, you are slowly but surely realizing your potential as a as an azure dragon it is heartening to look upon though i must confess that my presiding feeling is one of relief you must understand the mere thought that the eye would choose an outsider one who ill com comprehends the threat posed of the dragons filled me with uh with the gravest of misgrave givings <laughs> yet you have ah uh, but i shall say no more Less flattery impedes your improvement. Now, during our last session, I enlightened you regarding the origins of dragoons. You will recall how Hald Haldrath heroically triumphed over the great worm Nid Nidhogg, and Ishgard came to into possession of the Eye. Tell me, Chrono, do you believe that these events truly transpired, or are you inclined to think them fairy tales? I ask you this because few folk have ever seen dragons in the flesh besides we Ishgardians and most would as soon dismiss them as products of the imagination. Alas, dragons are no less real than you and I, with, Nid with Nidhogg perhaps the most real of all. In the course of its history, Ishgard has suffered the creature's wrath on eight separate occasions. Each time the great worm rose, the blood of countless Ishgardians is spilled. Let us revisit the past once more, Grano. The time is twenty summers past, and the place of Dravania. After a century in slumber, Nidhogg awakened once more to resume his reign of terror. Entire villages were razed to the ground, their inhabitants reduced to smoldering ash. Sensing the great worm's unbridled rage, others of his kind began to rouse, and in such numbers as to blot out the sun with their wings. A deep foreboding darkness swept over Ishgard. Raging infernos painting the belly of the sky in angry red, the agonized screams of innocence fading into deadly silence. In my station, as the Azure Dragon, I was there through it all, bore witness to all the horrors. But there was no time to offer even a silent prayer. Nidhogg lingered in one place only long enough to lay it to waste, and then he took wing, so, so too did I pursue him a man possessed. This game of cat and mouse continued for what seemed an eternity before I found myself face to face with the Great Worm. The battle unfolded in a tiny settlement on the edge of Corthus, raging on for three days and three nights, with either side able to gain a decisive advantage, remaining on my feet by sheer force of will, I realized that it, end, that it must end now, else it shouldn't end well. Marshalling my, my last ounce of strength, I wagered all on a single thrust. My lance struck home, bearing deep in the ruin of my opponent's empty eye socket. Yet, before I could withdraw my weapon, the worm lashed out wildly in agony, dealing a blow that left me sprawled upon the scorched earth, nigh in, in sunset. In that instant, I thought myself surely doomed, but Hallone was not finished with me. Having lost the taste for battle, Nidhogg let loose a blood-curling roar before fleeing into the sky. The battle was over. While it did not perish from my injuries, they rendered my body unfit to bear the power of the dragon, and I was the azure dragon no more. Lying be bedridden, bedridden, my thoughts wandered to all the innocent lives that had been lost, the people I had failed to protect. That last conflict with the dragons of Dravania left countless orphans in its wake. Estenine is one of them. The sole survivor of Fern Ferndale, the final village to, this, to suffer Nidhogg's wrath. 
with none left to care for him, I did the only thing I could. I took Esnain as my own son, instructing him in the way of the dragon when he was of an, of an age to learn. Yet I would not have you think me noble. My actions were born not of compassion, but of guilt, my guilt at having failed him. But alas, I have also failed him as a father, for what manner of man did I bring him up to be? A thief who would endanger the life of every every one of his countrymen. Ah, uh, you heard me right. All Ishgard may suffer for his crime. Though we, we know little and less of the minds of dragons, it is conceivable that the disturbance surrounding his, his stolen eye will rouse Nidhogg to waken once more. That his kin have already stirred from their slumber serves as fair warning of that. Time is not on our side. Fortunately, it would seem you are more than ready to embark on your next trial. Make your way to Witch Drop, where the knight, his student or whatever, um, awaits your arrival. My nation is depending on you, Krona. If you ever give me a long story like that again, old man, I promise I will stab you in your eye. Promise I will do it. Sheesh. Talks just like an old person. Just won't shut up. So many stories to try to tell you about. Goodness. Alright, so which drop is up north? So we'll head off that way. This is one of the areas where most people do a lot of fate grinding, and it gets to be so hectic over here. I'm actually kind of hoping that, uh, thanks to you have to pay the service now, that a lot of people are actually going to fade off from it, which will actually open the game up for me a bit more. Okay, I'll just march. Let's see, let's zoom this out a little bit, see where we're at. Okay, so we got a lot of ones. A little full over there. That's my area I gotta be at. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll shoot right through this direction here. Count Dragon Head. Cut right over here. Okay, which drop is right there actually? Don't want to fall in there, I'm just going to fall right over here instead. It's an entrance. This witch drop, if you drop all the way down, then it beats you down to like I think 1% or, or 1 HP. And then from there, then you have to still fight. Okay. Yeah, if these guys see you, then you got to fight these level 38. The wood goes or whatever they are. And they're cold. Bodericas. Okay, and then also our witch drop does have two different entrances. I just chose to take this one here. And gosh, it'll be right over here. Right, what you got to say, sir? You are the one who would aspire to be an Azure Dragon, while you are not even a Vishgard. If you truly possess the power that Sir Albrecht sees in you, then prove it to me with your lights. And guard! So I've got to take on a bunch of these things now. This is a great. Alright, yeah, this really isn't good because I forgot our rotation I used to use. Yeah, this isn't going to turn out well for me. I'll bet my rotation. Let's see here, what is my road? Yeah, not what I'm on rotation. I don't need to remember that first. High potions on me at all either. Yeah, let's try that again. Um, inventory. Hey, where you at? I didn't even have those things equipped on me.
Oh, there they go. So I didn't, yeah, I didn't even see those things there. Alright, so let's turn down. It's going to give me my high potion. That being said, let's throw you on. Okay, got my bigger wreck. Come on. Elusive jump. What is that one? Life surge. Okay. Okay, so I've got to do fracture for bottom eyes. Keep myself healed up. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Start off with you, sir. So. I remember these rotations I've been playing as my um, as my conjurer for so long. Strength. I have not seen his like since Istanin himself stood before me. Mayhap Sir Albrecht uh, has the right of it. After all, return to or return to show your crystal to him. I have no doubt he'll be pleased. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I had to I had to run off for a bit just to kind of get my get my bearings right first. Should be all set to go now. Oh, that was kind of hectic at first. Alright, so we're heading out for this way. Okay. Yeah, sheesh, that was kind of difficult. At first, at least with that extra void thing, so I think we want to kill that off first and then makes the battle the rest of it pretty easy. That's my only problem is that I'm switching back and forth between a conjurer and a dragoon. So damage dealer and healer. And yeah, when you're doing that, like you have different rotations that you have to do, you have different roles to play, so it's just a little bit it takes me a little bit longer to um, pop back into it. I need to go through a few battles normally. But yeah, no worries. No real worries. I'm surprised that I haven't been really glitching around this area. Maybe they did a little update to fix that. Fix so many people being here. Hunting these fates and whatnot. It's been pretty hectic. Okay, so I'm getting close. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
Okay, I got a lot of abilities though. You see all these abilities? It's a lot of them. And then you flip it over here, and I still got this one. Got this set over here. Which I'm also going to throw just a new ability onto it now. Which is going to be that uh, spawn shatter dive. Where am I going to put that? I'm going to figure that out. We'll figure it out later. Just let it pop in wherever. You have passed yet another trial with flying colors, Chrono. The day when you may stand before us and need is as an equal is not far off. And when that day comes, the Isle will choose you over the traitor. I have no doubt of this. But we must be patient still. For now, you must continue your training. When you can do no more on your own, seek me out once more. Perfect. Thank you so much for the experience and the new Billy. Dum 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 dum. New ability. This time nobody's in my way. It's lovely. Okay, so there it is. So it just drops right there. Spawn Shadow Dive is going to be under my axe. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. No, nope, nope. Um, I actually had a. What I wanted to do was put that there for some reason. So, there we go. Okay. So now when I'm on battle, I have that one accessible and this one accessible. So this one and two. With my potions. Potion of strength, all that good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get back into all this rotation. Like, I have way more stuff to, to cycle through as a damage dealer versus my healer, where I'm just pretty much carrying protects. I'm um, sleeping a couple of monsters. Yes, yeah, it's, it's way easier. Or at least way, way less abilities I have to worry about. So my next one should be Double Dragon. Nice. That's gonna be set up for me at level 45, and no new ability from the looks of it. Just a lot of experience. So, easy enough. Alright, so until then, I am actually going to be stuck doing some more uh, missions and whatnot. Which, oh, looks like a white broom. The leaves of white broom have now been opened up too, so it must be the level 40 area that I'll be working with. Nice. Okay. Alright, well, that's all I needed for now. So guys, I'd like to thank you on behalf of Chrono and myself for watching this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn on the PlayStation 3. Um, until next episode, we will see you guys next time.